They're saying that describe how the event, um, they're saying that identify the face. This is it, prophase one. This is what I said here in the booklet crossing over, yeah, process of crossing over. Yes, yes, process of crossing over. Yes, I said it here, and I said it here also the, 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 the real phase of crossing over. This homologous chromosome line up to get equal ones, uh, one chromatid of each cro chromosome overlap uh, with the chromatids of this homologous pattern, and then the crossing over takes place at a point called whatever you see. This is a, a marking point. Huh? Yes, just download the book, use this book, make sure that you use this book. You, I guarantee you a distinction. I guarantee you a distinction. Yes, last time I was showing you the, 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 the kids. A teacher was very happy sending me a message that, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm thanking you for using your, your, your booklet. I managed to get 12 distinctions. 12 distinctions. I salute you. Uh, I salute you. Uh, that I salute that teacher. And thank you very much. Keep your work up. You want a distinction? Yes, that book. All right. Uh, let's continue. Diagram below, we're almost done. Diagram below represents all the chromosomes in a cell that is undergoing normal cell division. Cool. Type of cell division is resulting uh, in the cell, uh, in the diagram. Which kind of cell division is this? It's meiosis. Meiosis. So the answer is meiosis. The phase of the cell division during which the chromosome behave, as in the diagram, how do we call this? This phase is the prophase. Prophase, prophase. If you say prophase just like that, I said we cross prophase one. Then that where in the cell, in human cell, uh, male, female would the type of cell division? Or, I said it very well. I've been showing you over and over. I told you that there is no question in this, in this, they're going to bring and it can't be answered by this booklet. I'm telling you. You want distinction? Yeah. So the answer is female ovary. Uh -huh. They're saying that where, uh -huh, give the letter and the name of the letter and the name of the structure that has, uh, that attaches to Spindle fibers, spindle fibers. Mm. We talked about it. This C and is centromere. Uh, there are some students who write this spelling very wrong. Centromere, centro. They have the way how they. This centrom, centromere, centro, centromere, body, the centro body. That's what it means. Uh -huh. They are saying that give the uh, we are done. We are saying that which layer is C? The answer is C, and then the name is centromere. How many uh, uh, how many chromosomes would be found in each Dora cell at end of this cell division? How many chromosomes would be found in Dora cell? Did they say that this is a human cell? Let's go back and see. Undergoing. No more. He didn't say that is a human cell. So I cannot think about human cells yet. How many chromosomes? I can't. So I just have to go back and see. This one. So they're saying how many chromosomes will be found in each Dora cell? Yes. At the end of uh, they are not talking about human cell. How many chromosomes will be found uh, in each Dora cell at the end of this cell division? Meaning that at the end of meiosis 2. Meiosis 2, so the answer is going to be So it's going to split. So the